In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brethren in Christ Jesus, today the 28th, the Lord God calls us to reflect upon His mercy. Psalm 51 verses 15 to 17. The whole Psalm 51 is beautiful. It says, O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. For you have no delight in sacrifice. If I were to give a burnt offering, you would refuse. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a humble and contrite heart, O Lord. You will not spur. One thing we should know, dear brethren, that God is a God of the living and not of the dead. It's a God who fills us with his life. It's a God who wants us to live and not be living corpses. I very well remember one day when I posted in WhatsApp status, as you would call it, a small picture of a beautiful flower sprouting out of a grave. And I wrote the caption, if life can sprout out of the dead, then why are the living dead? Yeah, many a times we live as if we have lost everything in life. Let us count upon the mercy of God, upon His love. And we know that we have no reason to give up in life. When life was interrupted by our unwillingness to cooperate with God, Christ came down for us, died for us. To his passion, death and resurrection, he gave us life. So let's not be afraid of death. There is no cruel boss or vengeful enemy or cruel tyrant waiting to destroy us. It is a loving God who is ever ready to come to us and hug us tightly and keep us in his bosom. God is willing to forgive us. Let us count on his mercy. You just remember that one episode of Jonah. When Jonah says to Lord, I will not go to Nineveh because you are a merciful God. You will forgive them. You will not punish them. This is the truth about our God. And if you can remember in another instance of the unforgiving servant, the Lord says that I know that you will forgive me, Lord. God's forgiveness is what we need, dear brethren, and what we receive, we should only count on His mercy. Amen.